Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Mondays with Mindy. Hey, Mindy. Hey, Christian. Today, we're going to have a conversation with my dear friend, uh, actress and soap opera legend, Deidre Hall. Legend. Born in Milwaukee, raised in Lake Worth, Florida. Deidre visited Los Angeles one summer while attending Palm Beach Junior College and landed modeling jobs, commercials, and television shows very quickly. In 1977, 75, she portrayed superheroine Electra Woman in Sid and Marty Croft's children's classic, Electra Woman and Dinah Girl, where I became an immediate fan. I was a weekly watcher. That's amazing. Deidre next, yeah, I was in fourth grade. I'll never forget. Deidre next appeared in the first two seasons of the hit show Emergency. But in 1976, Deidre Hall skyrocketed to fame, creating the role of Dr. Marlena Evans on the soap opera Days of Our Lives, a character whose popularity has created such a fervor um, and fan following rarely seen in television. In 1986, Deidre became the first actress to ever star in both daytime and primetime series when she was cast in the NBC drama Our House. She left Days the following year to concentrate on this show and the television movies that included And the Sea Will Tell for the very first time, a Perry Mason movie, and many, many others. And in 1993, she created Never Say Never, in which she not only starred, but executive produced. The ABC movie was based on her real life struggle to create a family of her own and her final choice to uh, of a surrogate as their solution. In 1991, she delighted her fans by returning to Days of Our Lives and Dr. Marlena continues to be one of the most beloved characters. Deidre has graced the covers of national and regional magazines, won numerous awards and received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. She enjoys painting watercolors and even created her own note card, note card line featuring her art with her twin sister, Andrea. You can visit DeidreHall.com to order a set or two. Deidre lives with her children in Santa Monica. Wow. Amazing. I mean, I cannot wait to meet the legend that is Deidre Hall. Ladies and gentlemen, here she comes. <laughs> Hello, Deidre. Welcome. Hi, Kristen. Thank you. It's so nice to be here. It's so... <laughs> <laughs> you're I mean, on it i love it this is so peculiar hi dolly how are you i'm good so we start each episode um christian and i kind of created 20 questions i pick five you answer them we start we just start okay. conversating which okay. get to know you. you and me um i have finally coined the term hall vortex because <laughs> sometimes d and i'll be like want to just get a quick lunch just a quick bite five, hours, five later. hours later <laughs> yes yeah. yes we're why still is it so going. dark out? I don't know why it's yeah. so dark. <laughs> so, anyway, I'm not worried about the gabbing. Okay, so first question. Deidre, what is your favorite dish to cook and what is your favorite dish to eat? Oh, cook, cook, cook. Yeah, <laughs> come on. You came up with these? Um, I, um, I, make a, I make a tuna casserole that my, my kids are crazy about and because one of my kids doesn't eat a lot of fish. Um, then... Um, I make it a chicken casserole and it's, it's uh, cilantro and, and egg noodles and uh, either chicken or fish. And um, it's divine. Uh, and it, oh, yeah, of course, I'm sorry. You, you tell them what my favorite dish is. <laughs> a, lot, a, lot of, a lot of cheddar cheese and it, and it lasts for three or four days. It's great. Oh, sounds it's great. nice. Warmed up. And favorite what's your thing favorite? To eat? Yeah. Parmesan popcorn. No question. Oh, that's a good one. You sound like you don't know about that. <laughs> I, I don't think I've ever had it. it. It's uh, it's it's regular popcorn, and then you um you cover it in butter, and then you cover that in Parmesan cheese. It's oh. it's really dangerous and addictive. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I making see, notes? Christian. I see you making bowls of that in your future. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, maybe have I not made that for you yet? No, we've not done that. We have not done that. Um, There's trouble. Well, we're we're about to have a theater experience at your house. This the D bought tickets to this Geffen theater thing. So you might have to make that for that. There's no question. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> OK, good. Parmesan popcorn will be served. <laughs> um, do you have a hidden talent? Um, uh, I'm not sure I have an unhidden talent. <laughs> um, uh, hidden talent. I um, do I? You would know. I no, no, because I, I, I think you've been out and about with your watercolor expertise yeah. and fabulous yeah. note cards, which I plugged right. um, mercilessly. Yeah. Love that. Um, OK. Uh, what do I, you... I do sign language. I know sign language. People maybe don't know that. 
Wow. Hello, that's that impressive. is the hidden talent. That is okay. the definition. I, I took that for um, uh, several years and, um, and, and loved it, loved it, loved it. And, and like any language, the problem with it is that if you speak French, who do you speak with? You know, um, sign language is even a little more challenging because um, um, unless you're hanging with the deaf community, it, it, not a big calling for it. My sister and I will, will sign in, in, uh, in restaurants or in stores, you know, if we don't want to say things out loud. I kind of want to learn it just so that we can do that. <laughs> That's our next project. Yeah, great. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, be, be, yeah after you. next puzzle, we need a few lessons. Oh, um, the puzzle. They learn about our puzzles? Yeah, I'm obsessed. Yeah. Dee and I, I'm obsessed with puzzles and she's the one that made me. Um, yeah. <laughs> develop that obsession. Um, jigsaw puzzles. Jigsaw puzzles. Not yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, good yeah. clarification. Yes. Um, what do you splurge on? <sighs> wow, that's a tough one. Um, I, I guess not much. I guess not much. Um, yeah, you uh, are a you are a spender on others. That is your mo. Oh, I will do that. Yeah, you're a good spoiler. Yeah. I am. I don't have a. Uh, I don't especially have a splurge. <laughs> so dull. No. <laughs> okay, I so know that not to be true. No. Um, but you I love seeing really... my blue jays out in the backyard. I mean, that's that's a great pastime that I have. Yeah, and I also mm. think you are you are a potion gal. I mean, you like a beauty cream, you like a a cosmetic, a no? I do. No, I do. I do. I do. I like to try uh new new um makeup things. Yeah. But I end up with a, I, I sat down to make up this morning because of course we don't have professional people helping us here. And um and I thought, there it is. They're my three colors that I always use every time. So um Anyway, yeah. yeah, they work. Yeah, it's what perfect. do you splurge on, Mindy? What? You travel, right? What do you? Yeah, do you this is not on? about me, but yes, I <laughs> I splurge on. Thank you for asking. This is D in a nutshell. Um, I would I would have to say travel and the yeah. occasional the occasional um cashmere sweater. I'm a little, mm. yeah, I like a good cashmere sweater. Okay, well, let me just. Oh, no, don't there. you dare. <laughs> don't no, I'm, don't I, you dare. I, I get you hot in cashmere. So I'm, yeah, I, I'm well, it, not a fan. I mean, yeah. hence, when I come over to her, I make her turn her fan on. OK, so if you, <laughs> having flashes, that would be me, not her. I, I see. I wasn't going to go there with you. I was going to say you can, And that's yeah. what cashmere does. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thank you see for my, my secrets. I know. See, I tell always them. safe with me. You know that Um, I do know that. Oh, my God. I know that you're incredible that way. Very good friend. What is your best habit? And what is your worst? My best habit probably is exercise. I, I will tend to exercise every day. Um, mm -hmm. I do the treadmill no matter what, and then I'll do yeah whatever the spirit moves me to do. But that's my best habit, I suppose. Mm -hmm. um, and my worst is, um, um, I'm going to say Parmesan popcorn. I mean, it's <laughs> at least a once a day. Sometimes on exceptional days, it's twice a day. So. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> binge yes. worthy. Yes. Yeah. Nice. Um, <laughs> and last question before we just start gabbing on other things. What scares you? Oh, when my kids leave, when my kids get in the car, when, you know, when mm -hmm. there's when when they're not in my bubble and I can't keep keep them safe in the world. And I and oh, don't we always say, please drive carefully. Please be careful out there. Please be careful out there. You know. And uh, and just you know, a quick little prayer and cover them in light, and got to let them go out the door. I, but I I don't like it. Yeah, yeah. And then and then not having them check in, you know, when they don't check in, and it's you know, eleven o'clock at night, twelve o'clock at night. Oh yeah. my gosh, where yeah. are you? Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Sleep sleep okay. in your clothes, kind of terror, you know, in case they call and they you know, get down to the police station right now. <laughs> oh my God, will will you ever grow out of that? Do you think ever? It's well, my kids are in their late twenties, so I uh, uh, yeah. and you know it's it's probably why, probably why, um, uh, you know when when they finally leave, you rest easier and all that. It's it's you just you can't you can't stop. I don't know. I don't I don't have a good answer for that, but I don't think I'll ever stop worrying about them because, of course, my life would end if anything happened to either one of my of children. I, that, that I, I know. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um. So. 
you are you are uh, such a unique person in every way. But one of the things I really want to share with um, our listeners and our viewers and Christian about Deidre is Deidre has this skill that has she calls it a muscle that she has developed. We're talking about the we're going to start talking about the creative process, whatever the hell that. Means, oh, OK. But, OK. Uh, yeah. OK. But you have this skill and you call it a muscle that you've developed where Deidre Christian can look at a script once, maybe twice, and have all the dialogue in the world that she needs for that day or that moment. And then by evening, it's gone in a, in a healthy way. Evening, space. If, if you said a second take, I probably couldn't do a second take. That's how fast it goes. <laughs> what again? How many times do I have to do this scene? <laughs> Oh my God. It's yeah, so good. It very fast. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Leaves very fast, but, but it's, it's that, it's that muscle that all it's actors muscle, have, yeah. but memory, because, yeah. because Deidre works as fast and long as she were and hard as she works, yeah. she's able to develop that. Anyway, I'm green with envy that she's able to do that because you know how I suffer over a one I scene. Do, yeah. Yeah. So um, having said that, do you just get on set and as you would define your creative process, is that when all the whatever comes out, the the acting schmacting of it or or what? Um, it's it's changed because of COVID, because mm. in the old days before, you know, before COVID. Yeah, um, uh, <laughs> we were able to meet in our dressing rooms and run lines for, you know, a, a specific amount of time and yes. then get on stage and do a blocking and then do a draw. I mean, we had a lot of creative time to, to work together. And okay. now we literally, we come in in the morning, we get uh, COVID tested, we go to our rooms until the test clears. Um, so we're, we're in our rooms, you know, for a couple hours. Uh, and, and then we do our own hair and makeup now. So that that's a way to kill a couple hours in your room. Yeah. And, um, and then if we run lines, they have to be on the phone. We can't even stand in the hallway. And we really and, and lines. no, no, you oh. once you're on the once they call you on stage and you're in yes. your set, then then we quickly, you know, uh, uh, you know, race through the lines and race through the block. And you got that. Yeah, I'm going to pick up this here. I'm going to put that. And and OK, let's roll tape. Wow. So it's it's uh, it's very oh. Yeah, it's it's something. It's something. Um, so my my. Um, Do you miss my, hanging out with your. Oh, you miss the backstage. No. I, I miss all of it. I mean, that's yeah. that's that's the playtime is going yeah. going to work and playing with, you know, did you finish? Did your daughter get the things she wanted? And did your son get into the school? I mean, mm. because yeah. we're, we're so we're so uh, in, entangled with each other oh, um, yeah. that suddenly not hearing about their stories and how their families are. And that that's it's it's a little lonelier. It's uh, it's oh, a very different um I'm not sure I can call it a creative process. It just, you pull everything out that you've got and you throw it up on the screen and they move on. Um, so it's- do they, uh, do they ever, in what they write for you, are you ever, I mean, surprised by where Marlena's going or or do you pretty much know, you put her on like a comfortable jacket at this point? Um, she's real familiar to me and I play her from myself. So uh, yeah. storyline wise, we don't, we don't often yeah. know. Um, uh, we're certainly allowed to ask and we're certainly, you know, on a, sort of on a needs no basis, but we're so far ahead, you know, that, that how far um, ahead are you? We're, um, uh, let me see. We've shot, uh, we've shot July 4th. Oh, wow. Uh, so it's is, not just a couple nothing. weeks. Oh, no, no. We, we've been at, at different points when, the, when the pandemic hit, we yes. were something like seven months ahead. So wow. they say, okay, we're, we're, we're going to go down now for go down, go dark um, for uh, six months. And oh, so wow. we went from March until September. We went dark. Yes, um, yes, that I remember. We, yeah, because we had new shows to put on the air. And, you know, we, some of the other shows didn't have that, but we had that a real luxury of time. So that yeah. was uh, that was good. And so now you're kind of back back caught up, maybe not seven months, but you you're a good few months in then. We're a good few, few months. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Fantastic. Trying to think what we shot. Uh, did we shoot Thanksgiving? I don't know. But anyway, we're we're um, we're we're in good shape. Yeah. Wow. Well, and unlike I think what um, our if if our listeners um, only know you from soaps, which to me would be a complete shame, because um, how I found you is your first starring role as Electro Woman on <laughs> Sid and Marty Crofts. You laugh, but D. Oh my God, I, I've lost sound. I can't hear you anymore. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> shut up. Um, shut up. 
uh, I say that because those shows are still imprinted in my in my life. And so I remember why? when I met uh, you. Uh, more of a question is why are they imprinted in your life? Why? Oh, my what God, is that? because Sid and Marty Croft shows, I mean, H.R. Puff and stuff, all of them were, I think, kid crack. They they knew how to these characters, these colors, these stories. I don't know. They they're part of my childhood and my growing up. So having said that, when we finally met, albeit hi, nice to meet you, whatever the first time, because we were uh, both on NBC. Um, that's the first time uh, I learned that you were the star co-star William Brimley, Brimley. God rest his soul. Oh, oh, yes. Our house. You yes, were, yes, yes. Yeah, you, you were the first person I ever knew and still are to star in an, a primetime drama and a daytime. How the hell did you do that? Oh, it was crazy. It was crazy. That's why I don't I even I can't days. even comprehend how you did that. Yeah, it was it was a lot of wrangling. It was um, uh, um, uh, when I when I auditioned for Our House, because it was an NBC show, yes. uh, there was just sort of the, you know, well, if you get it, we'll just have to kind of sort that out. And then uh, and then I did. And I yes. really, really wanted. I mean, I really that that character, that show so spoke to me and I really Fabulous. desperately wanted. It. And um, so for the first season that we were on the air, um, uh, Days would have me come in on a Saturday and shoot all my shows for the week. And then oh five days a week, I would go to our house and then and, yeah. and then shoot on Saturdays. And then it just wow. got to be. I mean, that well, was... and and I knew then because you not only were co-starring in that series, but of course, once you're on prime time, all these TV movies and I mean, the, the world kind of nighttime world opens up to you and, mm -hmm. you know, the opportunities start availing themselves. And of course, you're a total draw. So the producers want to hire you. And so you did this slew of amazing TV movies and. Um, I just don't think a lot of people realize the breadth of your work because um, your day's character is so iconic and so beloved. Um, and so long lived. <laughs> you're so laughing 40, like it's 40 something years. Yeah, it's yeah. so um, it, it's just brilliant. It's amazing. Um, I, I just think it's a testament. So, I mean, you know, I'm your biggest fan, but trajectory wise, I, I think I know the answer to that question, but I could be wrong. Um, do you have aspirations or desires to go back into prime time? Are you are you still kind of hungry for that? Interesting. Um, you know what? Opportunity I, I, present itself. The, oh, but, oh, yeah, of course, yes. Um, the um, the annoying truth is about that that I you know when I did our house. Mm -hmm. um, uh, because we had children on the show, they had to spend a certain number of hours in school. So, um, uh, so I would be, I would be the bookends come in in the morning, shoot a scene, wait around. Come. Yeah. So, oh. so it was a, a lot of sort of, you know, marking time. Um, uh, and, um, remembering how to shoot one camera because that was sort of new to me, not new, but it'd been a while. And, um, and the pace, you know, daytime. Yeah. Oh, get it done, get it done, get it done. Oh my God. So you are flying through dialogue and, 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 uh, um, and I, I did miss the pace. I did miss the pace. Yeah. So it's, uh, I'm, I'm in, you know, and, and we're the stepchildren, you know, this, I mean, we're the, we're the shows that make the money for the network and how annoying is that? Um, because, you know, we don't have time for special lighting and, and, you know, special everything. Get yeah. out there, shoot it. Try to find your own light. You know, now it's better. To try to do your own makeup. Try to do your own hair. Now try to <laughs> yeah. find your light. Yeah. Um, uh, well, also, it, I think the silly. fan, the fan uh, commitment and expectation of you guys regarding fans and outreach is you have a much heavier load than I think primetime actors. Um, what you are asked or slash expected to expected. do from those fans, um, I think is. I know what you do for your fans and how hard you work. And it's a lot of extra that I don't think people in primetime even think about or would or would say yes to. Um, you know, uh, yes, we are. We are much more connected to our fans and they're much more invested because, you know, to be clear, um, we're in their living room five days a week. Right. So mm -hmm. we're there. We're yeah. there. And, and, and we in our storylines, we play every every beat of a story. 
Mm. You know, it isn't a one hour start to finish. It's a on the first day you meet the guy, second day he meets you, the third day you think he's cute, the fourth day, you know, so, so it's, it's protracted and, uh, and they get to see every moment of the, of the story and the acting, uh, yeah. which is, which is lovely for an actor. I mean, that's just to say, okay, I get to play every frame of this, this storyline and the, and the answer is yes, you do. Yes. Well, you know, we, so all, we also, I should, I should, uh, yes. there was a time when um, uh, our actors uh, not infrequently will go out um, on, on um, autograph uh, uh, yeah. parties and that kind of thing. Uh, but every year until this year, we had done uh, a, 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 a fan day at Universal called wow. the Day of Days where the yeah. entire cast would meet with anybody who comes to Universal and sit in the audience. And uh, yeah, wow. so yeah, we do a lot. We do a yeah, lot. You do. Yeah, you do. You um, do. Yeah. I, in fact, Christian, I'll share with you, you know, how I'm, you know, ready to go back to work. She's ready. <laughs> and and D said, like, you know, would you ever? And and she, I absolutely developed flop sweat when she I thought about <laughs> trying to do even a week of what she does. <laughs> I, I Literally, I just thought and I looked at her and I said, I mean, I'll blow it. I, th- there's no way. I, I think the P- most actors do not understand uh, the level of, uh, uh, of intensity of not yeah. just learning the lines, but then like actually like making something of it, right? Mm-hmm. I'm also not really soap material. I mean, just look at the two of us. It's Mutt and Jeff here. <laughs> I mean, look at you. I know you spoke to Dano about that too, because she had, she joined our show for a while. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. I mean, you know, it, 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 she sort of, she used to be, uh, very heavily featured on a soap opera and then, t- you know, took s- decades off and then came mm-hmm. back and did a spot with with Deidre in, in days, not with D, but on the show. And she it was like a deer in headlights. You know, it was <laughs> just like just the amount of work to remember the words and actually try and emote and do she it it does you in. I would need, well, she, I, she's extraordinary, and, we, and which is agreed shouldn't go without saying, you know, oh, but but agreed. she had not worked at that pace. You know, you think, oh, I'll be there all day. I'll have time to rehearse. And suddenly you're yeah. called on stage and the and, uh, light goes on. So, yeah, no, it was, um, yeah. I just think about Daunting. how I would embarrass myself so badly. So, yeah, not <laughs> for me. Uh, um, what what have you been binging on during this? What, what are some of your favorite things that you've watched? Um, can you remember? Um. God, of course, now that you ask me, I have no idea. Right. Um, okay. So. Well, we talk, we talk, the famous story about what are you doing with that? What do you mean? What am I doing with that? The, the soap. Um, oh, <laughs> Mindy came in, Mindy came in one day and I had ordered some products and um, uh, they had arrived. I think that's right. They had arrived. And uh, she said, what are you doing with that soap? I said, what's the matter with you? What? You, uh, what? you know, what, what kind of ridiculous question is that? And um, and I had ordered some of the soap from Schitt's Creek. Um, Inspired so, by Beekman 1802, who, by yeah, the way, exactly. is sponsoring season four. So, oh, my God, the guys are going to be loving this conversation right now. Oh, okay. um, <laughs> but, you know, the, I said, I said, it's Beekman 1802. She says, uh, yeah. And, <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, hi, idiot. How are you? Welcome to my house. Um and and of course, it was inspired by Schitt's Creek and D had gone a deep dive into it uh, during the pandemic and ordered this. Um, and so, yes, it was like we I then connected her to the guys and made everybody very happy. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Love that yeah. stuff. Yeah. So, okay. so and there yeah, so, was another so connection. Schitt's Creek. Yeah. 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 Um, and um, tell me what is who or what inspires you just in general? Um, you know, um, I, I get very moved by people that keep doing their job. I get very moved by, by the cashier. And, um, uh, I, I, I was in a, I was in the little market down, you know, yes. Our neighborhood street. market. Yeah. Um, and I, uh, I, I needed some coffee filters and I didn't, uh, it's a very small store we might add. Um, yeah. and, and I, um, and I said to the cash register, the, the girl at the register, I said, uh, uh, <sighs> coffee filters. And she left the cash register and went over and pulled them off the shelf. That, that, yeah. you yeah. know, that kind of, that kind of, she didn't have to do that. Uh, you know, and, and I, she could have said, buy the coffee, 
stupid, you know. Um, <laughs> but, Aisle three. <laughs> where you've been looking for them by the oranges. Um, uh, just people that carry on. Um, yeah. People that carry on. Yeah, I love that. You know, you are one of the kindest people that I know. I don't think <laughs> I've ever told you that out loud. Don't do that. Um, take it. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I can't even think why you'd say that, but that's very sweet. We should spread that around that I'm the kindest person yeah. you know, but huh, what? <laughs> oh, you are. Um, and I, I love that you notice it in others. I mean, I kind of feel like you spot it, you got it. I think why you say that, at least to me, and you didn't ask for an explanation, but hi, here, here I am giving it. Um, <laughs> that it, that you, you notice that so many people, I think especially during this time when there's a lot of apprehension and fear and uh, um, the fact that that's your answer, you know, one more time makes me realize just how good and kind of a person you are that you would notice that in others and that it is it is touching and moving um, just those normal things that it's not something extraordinary or someone doing something extraordinary. Um, that's all I'm saying. That was my commentary on it because you asked. Didn't you ask? Did I ask? Um, <laughs> checking the, checking you know, the notes. What I, I say to my children. <laughs> I say to my children, and, and I'm sure you have these feelings, but when you're in traffic and, and, a, and a, you hear a siren and everybody pulls yeah. off to the right or you get to a far away stop and the, the guy on the right says, yeah, it's, you know, whatever. Everybody's the roundabout. Oh, my gosh, the roundabout. <laughs> and, and I'm always saying, always saying, see, it's so much easier when everybody reads the same book. Because yeah. I've got to wait for that guy to circle the roundabout, then I can fall in, then he'll wait for me because it's not. There's just this kind of universal way that works for, for the world. And, yeah. and if you all read the same book, you know, it works much more smoothly. Yeah. It's easier. What, a, uh, you know, in the, uh, I'm trying to figure the, whenever you're the ready. words together. I know, whenever I'm ready and, and <laughs> sort of like, let's try that again, Indy. Whoops. <laughs> Is five, four, Three, two, go. Where you grew up, did that somehow um, create the aesthetic you have? You have an incredible uh, aesthetic that really is just you. I walk into your house or the way you put yourself together, you have a certain aesthetic. Did, 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 that, did you develop that or did that come from where you grew up? Where does that come from? I'm trying to think uh, to what you're referring. Um, uh, I like color. I, I, I don't know what you mean. Uh, I just, yeah, I guess your taste level or how you move through the world. Um, was that developed on your own as an adult or is something from how you were raised your childhood kind of formulate that? Do I need to ask it in a different way? I don't even no, know how. I'm just, I'm, I'm having this sort of flood of reactions to the, to, to uh, thoughts that are floating up. Okay. Um, um, my older brother had downs. And um, uh, that I think changes a family. That changes uh, mm. the way the way you you behave in the world, because we were always you know watching to make sure we we, we had five kids all together, and so uh, we'd be playing Foursquare on the on, you know on the street, <laughs> small town, um, and uh, and we would let you know Terry's going to play what oh Terry's going to play okay right. okay. Right, and right. if somebody hit it to him too hard, the four of us went home. That was it. You can't, don't mess with him. So, mm -hmm. so it's, it's, that is sort of um, an instinct to watch out for people that maybe need a little more help than, than, than others uh, mm -hmm. to just get through the day, you know, make sure he's safe, make sure he's comfortable, make sure he's not scared. Um, because, because that was, we all learned that at an early mm -hmm. age to take care of my brother. I don't know if that's a, a blessing or a curse or both, um, but you, you, I mean, that exp one more time, you explained innately just how kind you are and patient uh, and, and notice people. No, you notice the ordinary easier, I think, or it comes easier to you than most people, especially mm -hmm. in Los Angeles, I just have to say. So that, that explains a lot. Yeah. Okay. So. Well. <laughs> Did I, did okay, I answer good. your question? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you. Well done. Well done, Deidre. Thanks. <laughs> Deep diving for these answers. Okay. No, I like it. See, I'm making yeah, it yeah, yeah. a good thing, right? Don't you don't you love this? Tell me how I much would, you love it. I would no, I would, I would, <laughs> I would 
prefer that. I would prefer, yeah, to uh, have to yeah. think a little harder than. Yeah. And I think the other thing that I, I, I hope you don't mind me sharing with people out there that I, I don't know. Again, you're very good about differentiating public and private lives, but you are very, very politically active. And what I mean by that is you, you made a decision to plug in and have it matter to you. And I know you um, went on the campaign trail with Al Gore. I mean, you've, you have ch chosen sometimes to put yourself out there. Um, and I wonder where that came from and, and when that got developed and why. I, I, maybe it's the same kind of place. Maybe it's, hmm. um, you know, the world doesn't the world doesn't treat everybody equally and um if you have a little bit bit of um influence or a little bit of uh, uh of uh power is the wrong word but influence i'll say influence mm -hmm. uh you want to be careful how you use that you know you want to be you want to you want to be uh smart about it and and uh so there were there were some campaigns that i felt very strongly about mm -hmm. and uh, and i i traveled uh, I traveled. Yes, you did. Campaign. Yeah. Um, with, with Cal, I mean, I spent the night before the election in, in Fort Lauderdale with Cher and Sharon Stone. And I mean, I, <laughs> pretty, you know, pretty hefty company. I know. Um, no, there you were on stage. You're so cool. Yeah. It was just, yeah. Yeah. What am I, what am I doing here? Okay. Shut it. Uh, but, it, but it was, it was, uh, yeah. Yeah. And I, and you know, a lot of it uh, I'm thinking is because you do, you you model what you want your children to see. Yeah, you don't like it, change it. Shut yeah. up and change it. Get out there and and uh, step up and use whatever voice you have to uh, to to uh, to impact uh, situations that you want to see changed. So that's what it is. I, I and I I'm 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 feeling dicey about it because I don't believe in telling people how to vote. Um, yes, you want to know right. how I vote? I'll tell you. Um, things I think are important, uh, I'll, you know, but I'm, I'm a little more careful because that's, everybody has one vote and they, and they need to spend it where they see fit. Yeah. Yeah. As long and as they I, agree I, with me. I do have, yes. And I have to say, we've had great conversations where you are one of my few friends in my life who I'm able to, cause I'm, I self-admittedly, everyone knows that I am a Democrat and proud of it and et cetera. But I do, I, I will turn on a Fox news and I will turn, I want to know what the other side or a side is thinking. Also, I, mm -hmm. I, that's how I grew up. I grew up. I want to, I want to know uh, then in the knowing, even if I violently disagree with you, at least I can maybe have some sense of understanding where you're coming from. Or even if I don't have understanding, at least I know, and I have the information and it's Informed not just decision. Rumor. Yeah. So yeah. Deidre and I have had like amazing conversations, even though we're kind of similar uh, in our views. You know, she's one of my one of my few friends who is able to also agree with that. Like, yeah, I kind of want to know what I mean. Hmm. It's important to know where people are coming from, um, even in these very divided times. And I anyway, I appreciate that. I really mm, like me that. Too, honey. Yeah, yeah. Me too. Um, and what I want everyone out there who's listening to know is that this woman is one of the most important people to me in my life and that I love her. And she's one of the truest friends I've ever had and will continue to have for the rest of my life. But um, um, well, it's true. Back um, at you. And 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 um, I will gratefully and gladly grow very old with this person um, in my in my little group. So, um, D, I just can't thank you enough for doing this. And Christian and I, I know we're so excited to have you on an episode. So really? thank you. Thank you, my friend. I adore you so much. Ask me again. I'll, I'll see you for supper. <laughs> 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 I know this. Oh, I, and I, you know where I was. I, I saw. Oh, yeah. OK. What? <laughs> Go ahead. I just I, I saw I saw our, our, our facialist. So I, uh, so oh. I know what you're doing tomorrow. So uh, yes, you do. But, thank you. Yeah. We, we, we share some beauty personnel. Yeah, we say. Do. We wise do. women yes. wise women <laughs> it's, i'm really i'm i'm really proud of what you're doing with uh, with your voice and uh and you know you should be you know certainly be on camera so much more than you are and it's it's the you know it's the um uh it's the what do i want to say about that um it's the loss yeah. of the industry because you have such a breadth of experience and 
uh, and and talent, and it's just ridiculous. If somebody hasn't said, Pff. we talk, we, uh, we which we will, about. I will, we, yeah. I, it, it will happen because it always does. It will. Yes. We, well, we we flirted with you. Let's go do a Hallmark movie together. Yes. We can, yeah, we can quarantine <laughs> yes. together. For- <laughs> we've sort of thrown and pi- thrown it. We've decided to throw and pitch ourselves to co-star in some Hallmark movie. Apparently, yeah. that was one brain idea, brain thing uh, that we had. I'd be watching. <laughs> yeah. You got at least anyway, one thank viewer. You. So. Yeah. Yes. Twins thank you very much. Birth. I love you so much. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you once again, ladies and gentlemen. A big round of applause for the very special and very talented Deidre Hall. See? Side clap. Now you have it. You understand. This episode of Mondays with Minnie is brought to you in part by our sponsors, The Cocktail Party, Love Mary, and Beekman 1802. Tired of cooking? Love fancy hors d'oeuvres but don't have any idea how to prepare? Look no further. The Cocktail Party, Love Mary, is here. For 15 years, New York's caterer to the stars and our pal, Mary Giuliani, has served her deliciously whimsical hors d'oeuvres to the best names in art, fashion, and entertainment. Now she's put them all in an adorable little box to send from her heart to your home. As Mary says, all you have to do is turn on your oven, pour yourself a drink, and enjoy more time with your guests. She'll take care of the rest. Go to MaryGiuliani.com or Mondayswithmindy.com for more information and to order yours today. Beekman 1802 is a clean and cruelty-free beauty company founded on a goat farm in upstate New York. We craft a range of products from goat milk soaps and body care to clean and clinically proven skin care, all safe for sensitive skin. Visit Beekman1802.com or MondaysWithMindy.com and discover why more than a million neighbors have joined our community.